G'day Argy Bargy crew, hope you're having a fantastic day today and your family's happy and healthy. Uh, obviously a lot of you guys have seen me driving around in my uh, Harley trucks and with the Harley trailers attached, Harley Davidson that is, and a few people have been asking uh, if they can find out where I got them from, how I did them, etc, etc. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run through the trucks that I've got in my Harley Davison fleet and with the trailers attached so you can have a look at them see what you think this one here that you can see right now is the uh, Harley Davison International uh, Lone Star um, it's the 120 year anniversary Harley Davison anniversary paint job which actually is not a Harley Davison paint job it's hard to explain it, it's the Harley Davison colors um, the truck itself actually has a lot of Harley Davidson accessories, but it doesn't actually have a Harley Davidson paint job, which is really weird. So I had to create it myself using an existing paint job and then just changing the colors to the Harley Davidson colors, if you get what I mean. But this is the very first truck I started with in the Harley Davidson fleet, and that's what got me started on um, making up a fleet of trucks. Uh, to match this one and the the others just seem to get better as we went along but anyway like I say we'll take a look at this one and at the end of the video what we'll do is I'll show you where I get uh, all the paint jobs and stuff from that you so you can do it yourself all right so like I say this is uh, the uh, international Lone Star Ali Davidson we'll take it for a spin and show you what it's all about. There with me while it loads. Okay, so here we are, Kenworth dealership. Having a look at it. And I'll run around the outside of it for you so you can have a look. Excuse my mouse work. I've got a very little plat small platform to use my mouse on, so I've got to take small bites at it. That's why it's a bit jittery. Got about four inches to move it around in very limited desktop space but as you can see yeah this is the international and that's the exterior and now let's take a look at the interior right so on the interior we have the Harley Davidson steering knob Harley Davidson seats Harley Davidson lunchbox and etc uh, etc et as you can see Harley Davidson bedspread um, Mag 30 magazines there uh, and the hanging item Harley Davidson emblem so it's very Harley Davidson <laughs> if that's what it's all about and if you have a look at the hood ornament it's the Harley Davidson twin pistons just to add a little bit of extra flair to it so now what we'll do is we'll pop out grab a trailer for it and work a trailer on it and which one will we put on? Let's put on the 120th Featherlight Hauler. Featherlight Hauler is actually uh, like a NASCAR hauler. For the NASCAR car hauler, if you want to call it that. And so we'll use that one. Say so yes to that. Where is it? It's in Santa Fe. We're in Price. So it's a fair way away, but that's not a problem. Because I have a little trick that I use to hook trailers up. And I've got a video on trailer damage. Oh, okay. Let's get it onto the truck quick. Smart. If it gets too damaged, obviously wherever it um, spawned was uh, too close to something. Anyway, so now you can see it's nice and attached to the, the truck. Zoom in a little bit closer. And that's the uh, Harley Davidson trailer or Featherlight trailer with the Harley Davidson paint job. Only 120th anniversary. Got it on the back there. Let's see if we can get close. Yeah. 1903 to 2023. Harley Davidson with the. Uh, Is that a fat boy? Can't really tell. Probably 
soft bail or something. Anyway, so yeah, that's the uh, international. Let's start her up so you can have a listen. We'll drive it out of the lot here and uh, actually, what I should do, just bear with me a tick. I'm going to put my head tracking on. Well, that's better. Now I can move around and have a look with my head tracker. Alright. Hopefully we can clear that without hitting the trailer. Alright, so yes, International Lone Star Harley and trailer to match. Number one in the fleet. I have a total of five trucks, I think, in the fleet. The uh, Freightliner, the this International, uh, the Mac, the uh, what have I said? International Freightliner, Mac, Peterbilt. What's the last one? Can't remember what the last one was. Anyway, like I said, we'll go through them and you can see which ones there are. And what we'll do is at the end of the video, if you want to, in the comments, just um, let me know which truck you think is the best looking one. So there's number one, right liner. Sorry, International uh, Lone Star. Let's pull her up here. We can have another look at it. And now we'll go and check out one of the other trucks. Let's have a look at what we look at this time. Okay, so trucks we have are the Freightliner Cascadia, Kenworth, Mac Anthem, Peterbilt. And the international. So we'll go and have a look at the uh, Cascadia, and we'll take that for a spin. If you have a look at it again. Like I say, let me know which one you think is the best at the end of the video. And at the end of the video, I'll show you where you can get all these uh, from mods and the uh, paint jobs, etc. So this is the Freightliner, more of a modern looking track, modern styling with all the plastic, one of the things I don't like about the modern trucks is there's a lot of plastic on them, that's why I like the Peterbilt's, they've kept with their, uh, their body styling up until just recently fairly well. And I like the old style looking truck. Anyway. So we'll stop there. And let you have a look at it. This paint job's a little bit more uh, elaborate. Just lean into it. And you've got the skull and the roses. You've got the wings on the front. We've got the Harley Davidson motorcycle emblem on the roof. Skull on this side. And interior wise, you've got the. Uh, let's do this. Do better. Again, there's not much here in the inside except the Harley Davidson mug and the Harley Davidson knob. But on the outside, it's definitely looking the part. All right, let's hook another trailer up for this fella. We can take a look at this one. And this time we'll go for, oops, trailer manager, not truck manager. We'll go for, we just had the feather light. This time we'll go for the insulated. This fella. Use that.
And that's in Moab. Again, we're in price, so quickly bring the trailer here. Because it's getting damaged again. Obviously wherever they're spawning is uh, means they're hitting something. As you can see, it's up. If you want to know how I do this with the trailers, hooking them up without actually going and picking them up, I've done a video. I don't know if I mentioned it already. I've done a video where you can find out how to do that. Again, I'll leave a link for that in the description below. All right, so let's have a look at the uh, trailer. And the truck. Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Freedom of the soul. It's the rear steer um, insulated trail that I'm using. And yeah, again, really looks the part. Let's back up a bit and get out of here. So you can have a look at it on the road. All right. Roll back. It was unusual. I don't know why it did that. Up the gutter. Whoop. Hard to uh, control the truck from this angle. Come back inside. So, yes, that's the freight liner. Oops. <laughs> uh. So, let's pull up here. So you can have a look at that again. So that's the freight line. Remember to let me know which one you like the best at the end. With the insulated trailer attached. Alright. So, let's have a look at the next track. Try and go through them reasonably quick because it might be uh, getting a bit boring for you. And now the Kenworth. We looked at the International, this fella. The Freightliner Cascadia. And now we're going to take a look at the Kenworth. Kenworth, I added all the ones that I've got right now in the fleet. So the Kenworth and the uh, Peterbilt are my favourite. Again, that's because I'm old school as far as the body uh, shape and, and style of the trucks goes. Okay, so this is the Kenworth 100th anniversary. All I've done is I've changed the paint job and uh, the rims and tyres. And again, we'll park over here and we'll hook the trailer up so you can have a look at it with the trailer on. Take a quick look at the truck first. I don't normally drive like from this angle, that's why I'm looking a bit weird. Alright, so, yeah. Freedom for the soul, Kenworth. Harley Davidson motorcycle, then on the back here you've got Harley Davidson motorcycle with a pan head. Um, cylinder heads. 
hopefully it looks apart pop inside and in here again we've got the uh the knob and the cup and then you've got the 100th anniversary kenworth interior so it looks pretty good right so now we'll hook the trailer up to it trailer manager manager and then we'll go with the reefer on this one i think use that and again we'll be really quick when we pop out because i guarantee the trail will get damaged again when we get out of here all right all right there we go that was nice and quick oops wrong one Here we go, hooked up, ready to go. And let's take a look at this. When the traffic doesn't get in the way. And like I say, it looks really nice, this track. I, I like this one. I like it, I like a lot. Okay. Let's uh, reverse up. Get out of here and put it on the road so you can have a look at it. Yeah, so this is the uh, Kenworth 100th anniversary with the uh, reefer trailer attached. From the Harley Davidson fleet. Whoa, stop. That was close. Thanks, mate. Swing out wide. Try and miss the gutter this time. So yeah, Kenworth, 100th edition, with reefer attached. Great looking track, love it, love it, love it. All right, next one. Oh, so we've seen that, but uh, let's take a look at the Mac Anthem. And save the Peterbilt for last. If I remember rightly, the Mac Anthem, yeah, doesn't have much interior wise, as you can see, as far as the Harley goes, because there's not many interior accessories we could, uh, find, or I could find on for the Mac Anthem. But the exterior looks apart, as you can see. Got all the fruit on it. All right, let's get that over to the parking lot. So we can put the trailer up to it. you get to take a look at it just lean into it all right so Mac Anthem like I say interior wise it's just a standard Mac Anthem interior but exterior wise you've got all the, the Harley fruit on it so it looks apart. Okay, we'll hook up a trailer to this fella. Um, let's 
suppose we just hook the uh, insulated up to it. Yeah, that will do. And the game will quickly catch it so it doesn't get any damage, too much damage. Still got a bit of damage, oh well. Anyway, so there we go. All hooked up. So that's number four in the fleet. Burst up a bit. Enjoy that here. I like this one too, the Mac Anthem. There's something about it. I mean, it's very similar to the Freightliner, but um, I know it's just something that I, uh, I like about it over the Freightliner. Yeah, and the thing I like about these trailers that I'm using the reefer and the insulated is their rear steer, like I said, it just makes it so much easier to manoeuvre them, especially when you're first parking them. Yeah. And let you have another look at it. So uh, yeah, that's the Mac Anthem. Ah shut up. Yeah, just like the front nose on these, they just look uh, mean and beefy, eh? Very nice indeed. Alright, so let's now take a look at the, the Peterbilt. Now the um, with the Peterbilt, I like it, but the uh, flame work on it seems a bit, little bit over the top for me. But apart from that, it uh, yeah, it looks quite good. But again, you be the judge. You let me know which one you like the best. And let's have a quick look at the interior. The interior is pretty basic again. <clears throat> it's just got the uh, Harley Davidson knob on it. Exterior wise. That's your paint job here. You've got the uh, Legends of Harley Davidson on the hood. You've got the uh, Harley Davidson emblem on the side. Now you've got the flame work with the wings and the Legends on the back. You've got the um, fade in on the tanks. Looks pretty good. Right, let's get a trailer hooked up to this one so you can have a look. It's got the orange accent around the uh, front windscreen as well, which looks pretty good. And the little skull near the um, hood emblem. So yes, that's the Peterbilt. Like I say, all the paint jobs and all the trucks that I use, if if they're modded trucks, I will have the links to them in the description. I'm pretty sure this is just the default Peterbilt that I'm using here. Alright, we'll hook a trailer up to it and I'll let you have a look at that. 
trailer will we go for? Feather light. Insulated. Let's go with it. Geez, you've got to be quick. Like I say, wherever those trailers are spawning in Moab and whatnot, getting damaged every time they spawn. Alright, so, yes. Truck and trailer. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty mean. All the Harley Davidson emblems on it. Alright, let's reverse this fella. Take it up on the highway so you can have a look at it again in motion and then we can find out which ones you like. Right. Sound of Jake, this one too. So, yeah, if you're interested in the head tracking system that I use, it's all free that I use, apart from a webcam, a $20 webcam. Uh, software's free. You can setups really easy if you're interested in that I'll uh, leave a link to the video I made showing you how to do that in the description all links will be in the description okay so yes that's the beta build last in the um, fleet let's have a bit of a look at that again So yeah, what you've got to do is let me know, out of the trucks, which one you like the best. So was it the Freightliner? Was it the, oh, what I'll do, just bear with me, go to OBS and turn that off. So yes, was it the Freightliner? Was it the International? Was it the Camworth? Was it the Mac Anthem? Or was it the Peterbilt? Let me know which one you like the best. And which trailer you like the best, I suppose. Out of that as well. So the trailers were the Featherlight. This fella here, which is basically the NASCAR trailer with a paint job. Then you have got the reefer, which is just a reefer with a paint job, and it's the rear steer. And the other one was the Where'd it go? Oh, it's down here. Insulated. The insulated with paint job. It's on the connected up to the feeder belt, that's why I couldn't find it. Alright, so yes, and now what we'll do is I'll show you where I've got all these paint jobs from and uh, where I've got the, I think the only modded truck is actually the, the International Lone Star. So I'll show you where I've got them from. So what we'll do is we'll hop out of here because everything except for the um, Lone Star is on Steam. So it makes it nice and easy for you. Well, let's have a look at that. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll just type in Harley here. So you can see where we get them from. Alright, so this is the Harley Davidson W900 and box trailer. That's just a paint job or skin from Steam. 
that you go to the Steam Workshop. Um, yeah, so here it is, the Harley Davidson W900 and Fox Trailer. This is a skin for those. So um, <clears throat> any uh, W900 that you've got, this should fit it. I mean, even if it's a modded track, I'm pretty sure it'll fit that. And any of your box trailers, it will uh, fit those, the paint job. That is the skin. And that's done by all these custom skins. He's done a really good job of that too. Right, and then the next one is in for that. Next one is the Harley Davidson and trailer. There's no description here, but we can view the mod. And here it is here. Uh, it's Freightliner, Kenworth, Mac, Peterbilt, Volvo, and the list goes on. And the different trailers, it fits uh, quite a few different trailers. So again, I'll leave links to these for you. So you can see exactly where to get them on Steam. And it is Skinned Alive. you in Workshop. Okay, so there it is. This is the one that I put on the reefer, uh, on the uh, NASCAR trailer. The feather light, and it's done by Dan279. And again, he's done a really good job with this. I like this one as well. It's quite a nice looking paint job. So that's that one, and then, and then. Then there's this fella, or we already looked at it's this one. I oh, know this is the Peterbilt paint job. Okay, so this is the uh, Harley Davidson paint job for the Peterbilt. This is done by Red Bear 70, Red Bear, sorry, 70. And uh, yeah, shout out to you, mate. Not a bad paint job. Just a little bit overboard on the flames, I reckon. Knock that back a bit, and it'd be perfect. And then there's the actual truck mod, which is the Lone Star. And that's this fella here. And it's uh, called the Harley Davidson Lone Star. It's done by Jake of 94, 5150, Corey, Harvin, Bibberton. They've all had a hand in it. Uh, it's the version 7.5 and yeah, tells you all about it there. And I will leave a link to that in the description below. It comes with various paint jobs um, and various different uh, setups, chassis and uh, etc. So it's not just the Harley, you know what I mean. But like I say, the weird thing that I find is there is no Harley Davidson paint job for it. Which, yeah, just fun me out but anyway so yes the links will all be down in the description below and um, yeah hopefully you enjoyed that if you did please like the uh, video subscribe if you haven't already and uh, share with your friends if they're interested in something like this and yeah hopefully you did enjoy it and we'll catch you in the next one bye for now